In this video, I'm going to show you three more job opportunities for international doctors in Australia. Hi, I'm Anthony, the career doctor, and I help you manage your medical career. So uh, if you like these videos, then why not leave me a like or a comment? And if you're a repeat returner to these videos, then I'd really suggest turning on notifications and subscribing so you can know when I produce a new video. I put out one at least once a week and more often than that lately. So today I'm just doing a very quick video. I was actually online in Facebook today uh, and just to point out we do have a Facebook group that you can join uh, with about 150 international doctors. You can get to that from our international doctors webpage. So I was online on Facebook today and someone made the comment uh, about how it's becoming increasingly hard to find jobs for international doctors. Uh, that you can apply for for that first job in Australia, particularly those coming through the standard pathway. Uh, we've done a video on that. I'll put a link in the description and probably somewhere here or, or there on the video as well. And it's true. Uh, it, it does seem to become increasingly hard to find jobs where they will at least uh, review your application even. And I've done a couple of videos on how you might look for those jobs and, and some identified some jobs for you. So I thought I'd just hop online. I hadn't been on for a week or so looking at the jobs boards and I went on to the New South Wales JMO recruitment site uh, and there were quite a few new jobs listed. Again, I'll put a link to this site uh, in the description below. So this is the main uh, recruitment site for JMO jobs in New South Wales, which is the most populous, the biggest by population state in Australia, therefore has the most doctors and doctor jobs in it. And you can see that you can search here for a range of jobs. and. The key thing is to be thinking about the position title. So I went and had a look for uh, resident medical officer. That's where you often see them. Uh, so you can click on that and you can see what pops up there. Actually, none of those positions, I think, uh, when I looked at them, would accept uh, an international doctor. But I then went back and uh, what I did was I also looked at down here, unaccredited trainee. So 23 of those at the moment. So unaccredited means the college won't give you credit towards training basically you're not in a training position so that's one of those sort of PGY2, PGY3, PGY4 maybe type jobs postgraduate years for those who don't know what PGY is so it's a job between training so it might be another one to look at uh, for a job that might accept applications so you can see there's a few here so what I've done is I've actually uh, I've put links to three jobs that I've had a look at here I'll show you through each of them and I'll talk to you about why they might uh, accept an application for an international doctor who's on uh, who has the AMC part one and some of these will definitely uh, probably most of them actually were, all of them uh, will accept a job application for someone who's on the competent authority pathway by the way so here's the first one uh, unaccredited trainee Northern Sydney local health district Monavale Hospital in general medicine this appears to be actually a job for the new Manly Hospital that's been opened. So you see the applicant will be employed by Northern Sydney Local Health District and rotated to the Northern Beaches Hospital. That's the new one that's been in the news. I'm not gonna go in detail into the requirements for these, but you can see that it's working in the emergency department and the acute medical unit, as well as ICU anesthetics. So you'd need to have a bit of experience. Most of these jobs you probably wanna have had worked in to, for at least two or three years in the in the area that they're talking about. We're gonna skip down the bottom to the selection criteria because that's where you really can save yourself a bit of time. So you can see here, selection criteria, MBBS, that's a medical degree in Australia or equivalent, currently registered, and here's the critical bit, or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia. So you can have your AMC part one or your competent authority uh, pathway and you are able to be registered that way. You want three, four, this one wants four years postgraduate experience in a range of medical terms. So it wouldn't be just for someone who's maybe done an internship elsewhere, but that's it. So on paper, they would probably accept you. I'm not sure whether they were thinking that they might get an IMG apply for this position, but I guess the way they've worded it, it certainly is open. So you definitely could contact them and have a chat about your application. So that's the first one. That's actually in Sydney. Uh, here's the next one. Uh, this is in Western New South Wales, like district in Dubbo, which is west of Sydney in emergency medicine. It's actually an unaccredited trainee. And here's where it gets confusing because they classify this as a either resident medical officer or registrar. That'll depend on where they think you sit. So this is within the emergency department at Dubbo. Dubbo is a smallish emergency department, but still quite busy because it's the only one for a large area around it. You can see 400 northwest north, kilometers northwest of Sydney. Uh, but let's again, let's just skip down here. So 
selection criteria, only six. Congratulations for getting this down to six, by the way, Judy. Uh, I like it when people can condense the criteria. I think that shows you put some effort in. So, MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible for registration with the Medical Board of Australia, minimum two years postgraduate experience in a hospital setting. So that one would probably take a broader group in terms of at least considering the application there. So that's Dubbo. So let's move on to the third and final one. So this is an unaccredited trainee on the Central Coast, just north of Sydney at Wyong in general medicine. Uh, and rotations in ICU medicine and emergency medicine. And we, again, we'll skip down here. Uh, this is the one that probably, I think, uh, that and the double one probably, it would be, will suit a broader category of people, I think, but we're gonna go down the selection criteria, MBBS or equivalent, currently registered or eligible. So this is a key thing you need to see with the Medical Board of Australia. And then they go into more detail. So they, they've thought this through and they will accept Australian New Zealand graduates or competent authority, uh, in which case for both of these, the grammar's not quite uh, clear here, they are looking for someone who's completed two postgraduate years, so PGY2, and then standard pathway candidates. Again, completion of two postgraduate years or more, uh, and then working as a medical officer in a hospital within the last three years, so currency of practice. So uh, that would probably suit most people on that AMC pathway that I've spoken to. So anyway, there you go, uh, um, three jobs, and I didn't go through the entire site there, there may be more. In fact, if you do hop onto that site and you go searching and you find any others that you think you might be eligible for, or positions on other jobs boards, uh, because it seems like people are starting, the hospitals are starting to try and fill up vacant roles now with international doctors, post the link below. And if you've got a question about that, and you're not sure whether you're eligible for that job, I'm happy to look at it and give you my impression and opinion on it. So leave a comment below about that. And again, a reminder about our Dr. Job Australia webpage where you can find a bunch of resources to help you in your endeavor to work as a doctor in Australia. So that's that video and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.